In this video, we are going to do graphs of functions. You will find this on page 236 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. In the junior secondary phase, we learned the following. This is the Cartesian coordinate system. If you write it like this in bracket x comma y, then this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. This is my Cartesian plane, this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. In there it's positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, and there is my different points. This is the origin that's represented by zero comma zero. Okay, this is very important. Horizontal and vertical lines. If it's a horizontal line and it only cuts the y-axis, then it's y equals 2. If it's a vertical line and it only cuts the x-axis and it cuts at negative 4, then the equation will be x is equal to negative 4. And then don't forget, the x, the x-axis, what is the equation of that? The name is the x-axis. But let's, I just want to make it bigger. See if you can see that line. Okay, yes, there is better. So this is the x-axis. That's the name. But the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0. Yeah, because it's cutting the y-axis at 0. This is the name y-axis. But the equation of the y-axis is x equals 0 because it, because it cuts the x-axis at 0. And then, this is two also very important lines. So, if the line goes like this, can you see it's positive, then it's y equals x. And if the line goes like this, it's negative, then it's y equals negative x. But it's going exactly in the middle. 3, 3, 2, 2. The same here. Negative 2, 2. Negative 3, 3. Let's just make it smaller. Okay, let's go on. We also learned how to draw the graph of linear equations in two variables. For example, y equals 3x and y equals 3x plus 1. Now we shall continue to learn how to draw graphs of linear equations. So this is more like a revision. Let's go to the next page. Okay, so in this video, we are going to focus on graphs of linear functions. You will find this on page 237 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Graphs of linear functions. Now, it's, it's going to look like this. It's actually the name of the book. Y equals MX plus C. This is a linear function. We have learned how to draw graphs of linear equations in this form, uh, where m and c are constants. So let's just revise it quickly. This m, this is going to represent the gradient. And how can I work it out algebraically? So it's delta y over delta x, which is the difference in y over the difference in x. Please just take note. In the coordinate, I just go, it's first the x, then the y. But if you work out the gradient, the y is on top and the x is at the bottom. So just take note, it's opposite. Okay, so then I can just work it out. I just take two points and I just substitute it and I can find. And can you see, this line is going downhill, so it's having a negative gradient. Okay, so this is the y-intercept. This is where the line cuts the y-axis. So where is it cutting? At negative 2. So basically, if I must write down this equation, and let's just see, there it is. So the gradient is negative 2x, and it's cutting the y-axis at negative 2. So it's actually the same. Let's look at an example. So in the first case, we are first going to find the gradient of a straight line graph and determine the equation. So they will give you the line, the straight line, and you must write down the equation. Okay, so let's start. So I, I will show you in red the two points there. So the two points was negative 3 and 0. It was there. 
and it was it was on both axes. So zero and negative two. Okay, run on the points. And then just name. I, I like if you do say this is point one and this is point two. So now I'm going to struggle a little bit. This is x one, this is y one then. This is x2, this is y2. And then I can just do my substitution. So in the place of y2, I put the negative 2. In the place of y1, I put the 0. In the place of x2, I put 0. In the place of x1, I put negative 3. And then I calculate. And then I get, well, where is my y-intercept? It's at negative 2. So what will my equation be? y equals negative 2 over 3x minus 2. The same with this one. Choose any two points. So it seems to me it's always nice. Just make sure that you write your zeros correctly to take the points on the axis. So this is negative 2 and 0. And, oh, I took another point actually here. So this is 4 and 3, that point. So I did not take this point. Let's just clean it. Okay. So again, just do substitution. Where is it cutting the y-axis at 1? And at the end, just fill in everything. Okay. Um, because this is not so difficult, I'm going to let you do all three examples. So, and I think I'm going to try to make it a bit bigger for you. See if it fits. Yes, it's still fitting. So I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 12, do number A, B and C. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so let's start with number A. So in, they say the gradient, uh, the equation of the straight line. So they separate it. So let's just do exactly what they are asking. They are asking me the gradient. Now, if they ask me the gradient, I must find my two points. Okay, I'm, the, I'm going to start by taking the two points on the axis. So the one point will be negative 1 and 0. And the other point will be 0, first the x value, and 5. So let's call this is point 1 and this is point 2. So this will be x1, y1. This will be x2, y2. So if I find the gradient, <coughs> remember it's always y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in the place of y2, it's 5 minus 0 over 0 minus, put your brackets, otherwise you're going to make a sign mistake. So 5, then this becomes a positive, a negative times a negative, and it's just going to be 5. And that's question, the gradient. And now the equation. So if I come to the equation, I can first say the value of C, it cuts at 5. So what is my, my equation going to be? Y, so therefore, Y equals 5x, and it's again 5, repeating. Okay, it's just a coincidence. Okay, let's look at number B. And again, I'm just going to make space. Okay, so in number B, again, I choose my two points. And it's not necessary, but it's just nice if it's on. Then you can see it's going directly there. So that one will be negative 2 and 0. And that one will be 0 and negative 4. So this is point 1 and this is point 2. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. What is to find the gradient? And I'm just going to write it down to make sure that you know. So it's always the y's on top and the difference in x at the bottom. They sometimes write it as delta y over delta x. That's what it's meaning. Okay, in the place of y2, in brackets, especially if there's negative numbers, the place of y1, 0. In the place of x2, 0. And in the place of x1, negative 2. So this will be negative 4. And again, a negative times a negative is positive 2. And this will be 
negative 2. So I'm going to find, so okay, this is my gradient. My second one, okay, they asked the equation, but let's find the value of C first. That's negative 4. So therefore, y equals negative 2x minus 4. And that's going to be, again, my final. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'm going to look at the last one. So this is all revision of junior secondary. So if I look at the last one, this is now number C. Uh, again, take my two points, and I'm going to keep the points on the axis. So that makes it easy. So just make sure it's first the x, then the y. First the x, which is 0, and then the y, which is 2. And then again, this is point 1, this is point 2, this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. Then I'm going to first find my gradient. So in the place of y2, I put a 2. In the place of y1, 0. In the place of x2, 0. In the place of x1, again bracket, negative 3. So it's again 2, and this is again going to be 3, so it's going to be 2 thirds. And then I'm just going to go, so this was my first one, and then my second one, I get the value of c. What is the value of c? 2. So therefore, the equation is y equals 2 over 3. Let's just get it nicely written. 2 over 3x plus 2. And that will be my equation. Okay. So let's move on. I'm going to make it smaller again. <coughs> Okay, now just move this up. So let's start. Straight lines graph in the form of this. Now we shall take a look at the graphs of linear equations in the form ax plus by equals k. It's just rearranged the equation where a and b are constants. Okay, so it's meaning like in the previous example, I don't want a fraction. Okay. So complete and, uh, copy and complete the following table. Determine which of the following order pairs are solutions um, of this equation by evaluating 3x. Uh, they actually just say that this side, you must I overdo it. You must just work out this side to see that this side is equal to 1. If it's equal to 1, it's a solution. If it's not equal to 1, it's not a solution. And I just do substitution. So there is my, my coordinate point, I substitute, and if I do that, I will get negative 3 plus 4, which is therefore 1 equals 1, and that's why it's a solution. There I get, in this case, um, this is going to be equal to 2. So I'm basically, so it's actually to say 2 is equal to 1, which is not true, because you must get a 1, so it's false. It's not a solution. This point is not the solution of the equation. And then this one, it's again one, so it's true. So this point, so these two points were solutions to the equations. Okay, um, let's look, you can stop the video and you do for me, try now 13. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Again, what is the equation? Let's start with the equation. The equation is two, x minus 3y and that must be equal to 2 and they want me to evaluate just this left hand side and I must get a 2. If it's 2 it's a solution. If I don't get that 2 it's not a solution. Okay so the first point they want me to test is negative 2, negative 2. This is a nice point. So basically it's just going to be 2, negative 2, negative 2. And this is going to give me, and I'm just going to write it here, so this is negative 4 plus 6, and that will be 2. So can you see, this 2 is equal to that 2, so yes, it's a solution. This point 
is the solution to the e equation. Meaning that this point, say this is my straight line, this point is exactly on the line. My point don't look on the line. So exactly on the line. Okay, then the next one. Um, so if I take um, 0 and negative 1, now it's very good, especially there it was the same. So this is x, you don't have to write a 1, it's not more than 1. Then substitute it again. So I will get 2 and in the place of x, 0, and then y in the place negative 1. And that will give me 0 plus 3. Oh. Therefore, 3 will not be equal to 2. So, no, it's not a solution. And then the final one, I'm just going to make space for the final one. <coughs> that is going to be number C. What is the point? 4 and 2. And, and don't forget again, this is X, this is Y. So, I substitute. So this is going to be 2, and it's 4, minus 3, and it's 2. And that's going to be 8, minus 6, and that's 2. So can you see? So therefore, 2 equals 2. So this point is going to be, so yes. Is the ordered pair a solution? Yes, the ordered pair is a solution. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now this is an example and this is how they usually will ask it to you. Usually they ask it in combination with other graphs, but let's just revise this one. The variable x and y are connected by the equation. Some values of x and the corresponding values of y are given in the table. So it's, this is the coordinate piece, that one is missing. Find the value of a. So again, if I want to find the value of a, it's just substituting it in there, can you see? And solve the equation. So a is 4, and then I fill it in. And then I say, on a sheet of graph paper, using a scale of 4 centimeters to represent one unit. Okay, very important. 4 centimeters, one unit on the x-axis, and 1 centimeter for 1 unit on the y. So your scale, you will get a mark for that correct scale. Okay, and then they say the point lies on the graph, okay, on the sheet of paper using, um, draw the graph. So you must just plot that three points. Now where is the three points? I just want to get red. So negative 1, there's negative 1 and 4. There is 0 and 1. And there is 1 and negative 2. And then I draw the line. Okay. And then um, the point 0, P lies on the graph. Find the value of P. So again, let's just move it up a little bit. So if I say, let's just find 0. Okay, there is 0. And P, so it's actually that point. Can you see? So just go at zero and see until you cut the graph. And there you cut the graph. So what will be the value of P? It will be equal to one. And then state the X coordinate of the point on the graph, which a uh, Y coordinate is negative 0 0.5. So go there at negative, draw a line until, can you remember? This is very important. This is why I did that first part, a line it's actually this line. It cuts the y-axis and it cuts at negative 0 0.5. And until it cuts there, there, then you just go up and you write down. And what will that be? That will be a half. So that is the answer there. Okay, let's try an example. So stop the video and do try now 14. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, um, you must have graph paper, so make sure you have graph paper. I'm going to also do that. I have a graph paper here. I will just flick a little bit around, but we're going to conquer. So the variables x and y are connected by the equation. Some values of x and the corresponding values of y are given in the table. Find the value of a. So this I can do without the graph paper or on the top of the graph paper. Okay, 
So if I see in this case, first write down your equation. This is your straight line equation. And then you see you have the x coordinate. That's negative 2 and that's a. So don't forget this is your x and this is your y. So just do substitution. In the place of x, I put negative 2. In the place of y, I put a. And a negative time, so it's 2 plus 2a equals 4. And I simplify this linear equation. So 2a equals 4 minus 2. So 2a equals 2. I divide 2, I divide 2, and the value of a is just going to be 1. Okay. So now I start, and, and now my table, I have the complete table. I will copy it on the next. So on a sheet of graph paper, using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis, not 4, but 2, and 2 to represent 1 on the y, so it's nice. The scales will be the same. Draw the graph. So let's just go to that graph paper first. I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. okay. Let's see if I fit, if I do it like this. Okay, so I'm going to take my ruler, and on this graph paper, I'm just going to, because the scale, if I look, it was negative 2 to 2, 1 to 3, so it's, it's not a very difficult scale. Okay, so basically, if I write on the scale, so there's zero, just get my pen correct, that's zero. So two centimeters, and then it's one. Two centimeters, two. Two centimeters, three. And this is my x-axis. And the same to this side, negative two, negative three, negative four. And the same here, one, Two. I just see if I need more. Yes, I think I need until this one. So I make it negative one, negative two. I think I need until negative three. No, until positive three. So I have to extend this one a little bit. And then I just can mark that one. Okay. So there, so I'm just going to copy that table. Let's just move a little bit to the side. So from the previous page, I'm just copying this. Okay, so this is my X. Bing. This is my x, this is my y. Okay, so it was negative 2, and it was 0, and it 2. And that value of a was 1. I substituted 2 and negative 3. And now I'm just going to plot. So the coordinate point is going to be negative 2 and 1, 0 and 2, and 2 and negative 3. So negative 2 and 1. Okay, I'm going to use another color. Let's go for the green. Negative 2 and 1. Uh, I prefer that you make a small cross. Because sometimes if you make a dot, you make it too big and it's inaccurate. So make a small cross. So then it was 0 and 2. And the last one was 2 and, was it negative 3? No, it was not negative 3, it was positive 3. So it's 2 and positive 3. And then you take a ruler, and because it's just, it was not infinity, they gave you these values. So just start at, don't make it longer. Start at 2, go up, and I just want to see where is my mistake. Oh, I see a mistake. Let's just go back. Uh, maybe you already noticed it, and, and that's all right. So usually if I see it's not working out, I go back. So I just want to make this smaller. Did you see? This is totally incorrect. So if you saw that, it's excellent. And usually 
you pick up your mistakes if things don't work out. So this is negative 1. This is negative 2 and negative 3. So because every 2 is 1 unit, there is correct. Okay, so now I'm just going to correct this one also. I think that one will be correct. So let's move back again. So this is going to be negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 and 1. Oh, I think it's going to work out now. And this is going to be 2 and 3. And now we see, because you have to put a ruler, do don't do it freehand, I'm using my ruler tool. So put a ruler, and now it's working perfectly. And you can always end, because especially if there's more than one graphs on a graph paper, so you can end and say this is the equation of y. Okay, let's just, just write it in the format that I had it. So it was negative x plus 2y, and that will be equal to 4. Let's go back to the questions. Okay, the point 1p lies on the graph. Okay, find the value of p. I want to go to the graph, remember 1p. So it's the point 1 P. So meaning that this x value is 1. So go to the x axis at 1. And I'm going to use, um, what will I use? What will I use? Okay, I'm going to just use dotted lines. I need a line. So take your ruler and, and go exactly there. And where it cuts there, go. So in this case, what is it going to be? In this case, the value of p is going to be 2, let's just get the ruler, the pin correct, 2.5. So um, therefore, p is equal to 2.5. Okay, let's see the next question. That was question, I will mark it now. That was question C. On the same axis, draw the graph of y equals 1.5. State the x-coordinate of the point on the graph of this which has a coordinate. So they helped you. Okay. So let's, it's y equals 1.5. Just remember, this was number C and then the D. So D is, just draw first the line. And I'm going to use red. Okay. So it was, it's 1.5. Um, I just want to quickly check this. Just give me a minute. Second. Okay, y equals 1.5. So draw. So 1.5, it's y value. Do you see 1.5? So again, take your ruler, and I'm just using red now, but take your at 1.5. You just draw the line first. That's what they say. So this is the line y equals 1. It's only cutting the y-axis and it cuts at 1.5. And then they go on and they say, state the x-coordinate of the point on the graph of this which has a y-coordinate of 1.5. So there when it cuts your graph, just straight go to your x-axis and it's going to be negative 1. So, so your second one it's going to be x equals negative 1. So they helped you by asking you. They could have just say again um, value of x or value of k or whatever and give you the y value of 1.5. But then you draw a line of y equals 1.5 and where it cuts your graph, you just go down. And that's the end of the question.